But Vidya didn't Be get up. The lucky His mask to to cracked open on the bed. And you? Oh. You left him there to die! No, Katya. We tried to save him. But it was too late. No! Vidya! We buried him there. A good place. We put white stones on the grave. Let her be. Let it be a demon. But there used to be birds like this. Birds? Are they mean like demons? No. They were beautiful. Some were big, but smaller than demons. Birds didn't attack people. They would wake you in the morning with their songs. Now, what animal is this one? There are only so many tickets. The nose is too big, though. Sir, did your dad guy. tell you about beasts like that? No. And he was everywhere. Even the library. Even the park. He saw a bear <gasps> Is this a bear, Uncle Misha? It's an elephant. You saw them in the Are elephants scary? Could the Salazes be what's left of them? The elephants, oh, they were large. But they never attacked first. Only when they were provoked. But if they got mad, they could stomp you. That's just like a Nosalis. Dad says if a big Nosalis starts running, she stomps everything in their path. She'll even stomp her own kids. Well, they could be related. They had elephants at the zoo after all. Though they definitely are smaller now if they are the Nosalises. And what kind of bird is this? That's this one. Look at its long neck. I know that bird. It was in a book, and Mama has a picture of it with those numbers in the corner. She has it hanging on the wall. A glitch, I was that is say a swan. Peacock, but okay. And why are you boys <laughs> keeping silent? You saw the book and saw the calendar at Aunt Thomas? I thought it was some kind of mutant. Me too. It does look like the picture in the book, but this one was moving. Look, boys. Try imagining that there's still... Well... All right. Who is this? This is definitely a spider bug. Look at its mandibles. Or oh, is it a No, legs? no, it's a goat. Just like on that picture. Are those the horns? Horns? The legend it's of the metro. Goat of the horns. It's a horn. 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 Give yourselves Any. and your loved ones it's the really gift of happiness. Their milk is so tasty. <laughs> there are only so many tickets. Was. Uncle Misha, Kat is the only one who knows these strange animals. Show us something we know too, or it's not fair. Yeah, show something we know. All right, you'll recognize this one. Who's first? Me, no. me. It's a lurker. Look at it snap its jaws. It's yeah, gonna jump out of its hole. That's a lurker for sure. Sorry, children. I used to know how to show those animals, but I got old. Let me take a rest, and I'll try again later. I'll try to recall how to show them, so that you'll understand. Be sure. Metro books. So Nikitish, when do we become mutant father? Have you got enough money to last a week? A week? Two days, maybe. Then my life is over. And it took so long to you save the every grenades. Oh, well. Guaranteed to keep your enemy At least warm. I had some fun in the aid. What? You give up already? Shit. We can still make it to Starkers instead of mere aids. Look, I got money for three days. 
Drinks are on me. Silent and deadly. Ha! A stalker. Man, if you ever need help with, like, carrying something heavy for the surface, we'll be ready to join you in a couple of days. We won't charge much. Grenades! Okay. Affordable and serious firepower! A scratch or speck of rust. Guaranteed to hit. Perfect self defense. You really should buy some of these. Good luck. Come again. Oh, it's another stop. This price is around, I promise. Leather. Best leather goods. Original designs. No prices. Shrooms. Great shrooms. <laughs> Can't find better stuff anywhere. Oh, well, you know where to get high. Ammo and gear for sale. Sala regular, sala smoke, so add. Lard. Roast bacon. Bacon sounds good. Beef are roasting, fresh. Tastes like a pepper. against mutants. Powerful and reliable. Very good choices. Oh, it's another stuff. Best prices around, I promise. Extended for now. Dark. Oh, it's another stuff. Best prices around, I promise. in 10 minutes when you change your mind it all begun wait a minute i gotta think oh, it's another think stop. faster look there is another tourist there if you don't buy this he's sure to all right all right i'm taking it uh, thanks man if not for you, Bullets, I'd never get this Bullets, sucker to buy. If what you want you some for yourself, come back in the They're evening. I'm right waiting here. for a new supply. Buy an insurance for your safety. Protect your safety. Come back later. This shit will knock you out. We spent the entire day here. This guy can prove I was here since this morning. Head up with us. You people should be first time we're ever getting saved like this. Right half. If you're so excited, then just tell us some standing room. Well, Artyom, I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the theater. Okay. Way old, dude. Don't 
My papa is a stalker. He'll get me one of those dogs. My dad is a pilot. He'll get me hungry. There are only so many tickets. When? Mine said he'd get it tomorrow. Mom says when he comes back, if I behave. But he's not coming back until later. Ah, oh, so it's not going to be soon? Let's go to Natasha's then and play with her doll for now. Let's go! That's depressing. What should I have said? I don't know. Truth? Who can live with truth like that? His commander said there was nothing left to bury. He begged forgiveness for letting him die. Sorry. What are you going to do now? I don't know. How can I go on like this? Damn. Join us. Don't lose your chance. Give yourselves and your loved ones the gift of happiness. We drag it back the whole party line. There are thousands of guys. You feel better. Piggy. Okay, so we definitely need to miss the safe here. Just got the key right here. The three of us would have run right into that back of uh, watching. Good. Thanks for the heads up, guys. Ain't I gonna say nothing this time? One on the left, so off. I definitely got the physics down. The Vulture stage has never witnessed anything like this before. I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But, <laughs> I trust, they will handle the race far of our expectations. There's something and wrong with thus, her eye. <laughs> our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eyes of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that That's humanity better. is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his, uh, terror of our city. What? Oh, I hate those little oh. things so much. Stupid. 
bit free. Allez! Oh. Yeah, you go that way. <laughs> Where are you? Get back! Where you go, freak? I'm <laughs> another the most you. impressive victory as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> when they went back to the traditional recipe, the new mutants were gone like morning dew. Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music, the famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottle. A round of applause, please! Oh, the purple. Hey, it looks like Mr. McGee. My soul will never sound the same. Your music has touched strings with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean, the most scorching spectacle of today, our fire show. A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please. Fire. Please. Okay, they're playing a fire show. The fire breathing, that's cool. Blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charged. <laughs> thank you, dear friends, thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo. The favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Victor Minchuk, with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso, 
Krampus is. What? Oh, guitar. would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to whatever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, The Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. Song of Songs. Huh? the musical innovation of the century. Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Mosca underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozarni. Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweet song. Interesting little theater. Artyom! No? Enjoy the show? Sorry, man. Time to move on, you patron of the art. Okay. Oh, Pavel Igorovich. So glad Hi. to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore? Okay. Yeah, dear. Yeah, no, sto. I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, ты сюда губу. Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap. That's why. No, he's reliable and doesn't waste his money. In that case, you should just marry him. He won't propose. He's too cheap for that, too. Fool. We're just testing our love. Dead, yeah. And in the meantime, he made you some powder by scratching the ceiling. 
At least I have a man of my own, instead of selling myself at the bar. You'd do it too if anyone Ooh. would buy. Girls, enough quarreling! The That's prom's fire. not going to go off soon! <laughs> so what? I'm not going on stage with her. You better. You've nowhere else to go, since the freak show left the station. You bitch! Knock it off! No fighting here, or on stage! Okay, let's let it go. No, it's not okay! What, should I call Petrovna? No, please don't. Then finish your makeup. It's our call soon. Refugees again. More refugees. What? What's going on? What else? Another war. Looks like the fucking commons are going to fight the Reich again. Shit. Is war all they know? Instead of wasting ammo on each other, they could be wiping out the vermin. They don't give a shit about that. The Mosalis is butchered my father. Who cares? No one. So how are we supposed to live? Or raise our children? If the monsters don't kill them, other men will. This is what I'm saying. Why go on day after day? Why can't it just end? Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? Yeah. Here you are, two of our specials from the old stock, been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great! So, let's drink it to him! Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but yeah, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Oh, we're gonna be so wasted. <laughs> Wow. So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true, but no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. What do you mean, no, 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 no beggars? No, 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 beggar right at the entrance. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other. Sell their kids at slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? War there, war there is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Blin. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! Definitely gonna be bottoms up. So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job uh, to protect the red line. Trading. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, he is so dead. Welcome back, Comrade Major. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder, though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Oh, D6, duh. Move it! Hey, stop that, bleh! It's just being over-enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. 